Gen Z rejects financial guru Dave Ramsey's advice saying live debt free. They say self-care is extremely important. Dave Ramsey's got to figure that out as an old man. He doesn't understand that self-care is more important than obviously being debt free, Dave. I mean, you got to figure this stuff out. Despite Dave Ramsey's popularity, particularly amongst older generations, Gen, should say wiser when it comes down to savings, mm -hmm. Gen Z dismisses his financial advice as outdated and impractical amidst current economic realities. Young workers reject Ramsey's counsel against daily indulgences such as expensive coffee with one individual asserting self-care is extremely important. And if it means buying a $6 coffee every day, do it. Ramsey's recommendations regarding long-term investing, uh, notably home buying, face scrutiny from younger generations who question the feasibility of paying for a house up front in cash with median income home prices reaching about $363,000 nationwide. Gen Z workers find Ramsey's suggestions out of touch as illustrated by one respondent who remarked, it's mind boggling that the older generation that bought four bedroom homes for $50 and a pack of strawberries continues to lecture younger people on money management. Tom, what do you have to say about this? Uh, this is Gen Z being di Gen Z, as reported by Gen Z, Business <laughs> Insider. It's sort of interesting. Um, this, so Gen Z at Business point. Insider agree that Gen Z is being screwed and that it's hard to live. But what they are unable to do here is they're talking about they don't see a let's, – let's go upstream, downstream. They are downstream saying – they don't see a path to home ownership or personal wealth. So they're saying, so who the hell cares if I am frivolous about things that make me feel good? That's all they're saying. And if I want to buy coffee and I don't want to save, I want to do all this. And it's just, there's no way. I just don't see any way to the front. I don't see any way to do this. Don't lecture me. Where's my coffee? That's what they're saying. They're spoiled brats having a, a, a hissy fit and they're not going up stream to say, what is it with this economy that has screwed you so badly? What is it about the situation that screwed you so badly? Why would that house payment be so expensive? Interest rates are up. Why did houses go up? Do you know about what printing money does to inflated uh, asset classes like, oh, residential real estate? They're not going upstream to think about that. And that's very typical of Business Insider, a bit of a mouthpiece for Gen Z. And so what do they do? They pick on they pick on a rational voice. I guess it was a slow news day, and the, I guess the Trump uh, you know, verdict hadn't come out that day, and they just decided, let's pick on Dave Ramsey, let's do some surveys, and we'll let the Gen Z stamp their feet and, compl and complain. And what they're not doing is asking, why is the economy like this? Why are there homes so much like this? And Bez uh, Business Insider, by the way, is sort of the, um, the, the I almost said news, that would have been a mistake, <laughs> is publishes these articles coming from a decidedly Gen Z in Silicon Valley a worker viewpoint because the Silicon Valley elite are buying up very expensive houses and keeping California, California. That's what's going on here. Adam. So, uh, you know, there's a famous phrase, cutting your nose off to spite your face. That's exactly what Gen Z is doing. They're basically shooting themselves in the foot saying, well, you know, it's not fair that uh, I can't buy this coffee every day. So now I'm never going to buy a house in the history of my life. All right. How does that make sense? If you do the math here, this self-care, I'm not sure how, uh, why getting coffee at Starbucks equals self-care. All right, cool. So if you spend $6 a day, five days a week, that's 30 bucks a week times four weeks a month, you're spending 120 bucks over a year, spending $1,500 on coffee. That's the financial decision you want to make. That's what you're getting behind. That's what you're like, yo, I'm getting my coffee. That's what happened here. D Dave Ramsey has a famous phrase where he says, uh, when you're broke, you're desperate. And when you're desperate, you're dumb. These people are just straight up dumb. So if this mentality can, continues to base, basically your calling card for your money, guess what? You'll never have enough in savings. You'll never have enough invested. You'll certainly never be able to buy a house. And the, you know, sort of sarcasm of like, yeah, my grandparents, you know, bought a house for $50. No, they didn't. They bought a house for $100,000 when interest rates were most likely double digits in the 80s or in the early 90s. And they had to pay it off and they're dealing with that. 
But and grandpa's th- income was twenty grand a year. Yeah, exactly. With inflation, everything around there. So Dave Ramsey, you know, there, there's things you could say about his baby steps and step one, save a thousand dollars. Pretty juvenile out there. And he also says things like buy a house cash. Not possible these days unless you're making a million dollars a year. Not possible. He also talks about not buying certain uh, insurance products and only basically buying a term and invested difference. I know there's a lot of people in the insurance world that have some. Um, uh, issues with that but at the end of the day dave ramsey knows what the hell he's talking about and you as gen z you're just basically complaining and you're playing the victim and not actually heeding viable advice if you want some self-care adam just did some math you could trade in those coffees for a gym membership now let's talk about self-care that's actually self-care by by the way and and just so you know a number came out that gen z's are moving the number one state they're moving to is texas but the number two state they're moving to is california Hmm. so one the ones that want to save money and, and they're actually the, the long-term thinkers that are going to Texas, the ones that want to go into Hollywood are going to California, which maybe the numbers make sense why that generation is going there. As a young person, are you going to feel the, the challenges that California offers? You will, but not at the level of somebody who's in their mid-30s, married with kids that's dealing with homeless, cost of living, school and private school, all this stuff. So when you're 21, 22, maybe you're going to be like, who cares? I don't have a problem with that kind of stuff. I'll go to California. Here's what we're doing. I got two seats I set on the side, which means you're going to sit with the staff, not with everybody else, but it's VIP, meaning front row. This is $500 seats that we'd sell. But I told you earlier that this year's goal, we want a million people to sport future looks bright and confuse the shit out of people in a time that's strange times, tumultuous times, scary times for many market, economy, business, politics, election, you know, them talking all about viruses and putting all these fears into everybody. We want to inject hope. We want to be paranoid, but we want to inject hope in everybody's minds. We even had a guy, uh, uh, I don't want to say the name. He's a billionaire who watches the podcast, ordered a thousand Future Looks Bright uh, shirts. No joke. He ordered a thousand Future Looks Bright uh, Shout out to shirts. Him. Specifically, shirts is what he ordered. And uh, we're getting a lot of people that are wanting to support that message of Future Looks Bright. So here's what we're doing. Anybody that places an order of $100 of Future Looks Bright gear. So if you're looking at this here, Rob's showing it. We're going to put the link below. This is just the Future Looks Bright gear. Order, uh, Place an order of $100 or more. I'm giving away two tickets to VIP, to Candace Owens, Chris Cuomo, live in the studio here in the flesh. And you'll go to the back at the Cigar Lounge. We may even give you a tour of the office here that uh, we run out. We may even bring you into the podcast set that we have here. Anyone that places an order for $100, we will not be announcing the winner between now and next Tuesday. So today, Thursday, we'll go out and place your order, $100, and we'll do a raffle to give two VIP tickets to the Cuomo Candace Owens event. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, Click right here.